Hello and welcome back to Parsanu. Where today we are continuing with El Persona. I'm also chewing gum, so if you hear weird, weird, weird chewing sounds, it's me. I'm sorry. Hey. Ah! Hey. No! Hey. I hate you. Um. Curry ingredients, huh? Fuck you. Fine. Fine. Just make coffee. Hey. I'll make some coffee. Ooh. Storming outside? Is that car? Sorry. Head out to buy some cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom, zoom. Yes, alright. Yes, alright. I think he always says something about the coffee you make. Mm. This acidity must be Guatemalan SHB. Let me explain. The volcanic soil of Guatemala is ideal for growing coffee. Guatemalan beans are ranked by their altitude of cultivation. Strictly hard bean, SHB, a grade given to a coffee grown at altitudes above 4,500 feet, has a citrus-like acidity and a full body. <sighs> Flavor profiles bland. You should practice more to bring out the roast's full potential. Okay. Cool. The eighth. Hey, I saw it in the forum. Nice job sticking it to that stalker. My Phantom Aficionado website came in handy, didn't it? Uh. I want to- I don't want to be an ass. What are you talking about? It's okay, you don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you could come hear me out about your future actions. We're waiting at the diner in Shibuya. You gotta- you gotta what swing by. What is he up to? I don't know. Hmm. How have things been? You know, with the special activities. Ah. <sighs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. Fan site? The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. You need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of P Thieves propaganda. Basically, oh. there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Uh, you've done good, kid. Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not going to ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. Hell yeah. I... Secret. I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm going to use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is going to be at my mercy. Sweet. Or, uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic Gosh. image management representative, so to speak. Simmer. Um, wait, hold on, I just realized... Oh wait, no, never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, strategic... what? Strategic image management representative. Rolls off the tongue, don't you think? Anyway, Simmer. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> uh, 
I've got to say, though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking Thanks. of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Thanks, man. Drink up. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might be overworking myself, though. <sighs> Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. I should head home. See you later. Okay. Have fun. <sighs> See you later. Oh, I'm Amaya? Listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier. Found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. Got me so mad. I'm not even sleeping anymore. At this point, I might as well be a an all nighter fighting back. Uh, calm down, my guy. All nighters can mess you up. Huh? What, you're worried about my health? Aw, oh, thanks. Now I'm even more motivated. Well, that didn't go as planned. I worked my butt off. Just watch me. Well, the duty calls. Better shout out for the Battle of the Fan site. Time for a wild night of modding and bam. Okay, man. Have fun. Hey. I'm at McDonald's. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well then. Oh yeah, shopping. Forgot about shopping. Time to do some shopping. Relaxation. Recover oil, relax, alert. I will buy hey, hey. the bio-nutrient set. Why not? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I should write something. Save it. And then... Here we go. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I also meant to go. Oops. Idiot. Go to Central Street. And then. Hello, sir. Oh. Ah, kid. Don't see too many people like me, do ya? Sorry. <laughs> Scared you. Guess that's a surprise given the way I look. I had a life once, you know. I was an art student. Yeah, I was cool and everything. Good job. What can I get you? Oh, I heard about everything. Hmm? Shibuya is crowded like always. Full of young people hanging around. Hanging out and just playing around. They act so easygoing. Like they don't have any troubles. They shouldn't behave like that. Maybe education is the problem. You know, they arrested a teacher for physically abusing students. Well, that kind of thing was normal back in our day. I guess time to change. Yo. Hi. Remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. Fate of these are true heroes, though. I want to help out however I can. Um, too busy sorting out all this info. There are way too many bad people in this world. Anyway, I'll text you later. I hope you're looking forward to it. Always. Hello, foreign barker. Hey, Shibuyans. Come check me. Hold oh, on. Uh, oh, I gotta get... It's a good foreign accent. Don't put some word into you, Shibuyans. Come and check it. <laughs> Come check this out. Uh, what's up? Hey, man. Thanks for giving me the time of day. Everyone really avoids me because my Japanese is pretty rough. I'm just trying to promote this bar, you know? Excuse me. You're just a kid, though. I can't let you in. Sorry, man. Oh, alright. 
I'm gonna do a British accent. But, like, I can't. I can't. Hey, look, no. Nah, I've lost it. Alright. Let's get to work at the beef bowl. At the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the beef bowl. Beef. At the, at the beef. At the beef. What did you say? Kind of customers coming out. Oh, shit. Medium natto. Medium curry. Medium barbecue. Large beef. Medium natto. Medium curry. Yes. Oh god. Medium <laughs> natto. Um. Medium curry. Hey. Um. Medium barbecue. Nice. Uh. Large something. Yeah. Well. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. You. You appear to have a difficult time there. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You're extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. It's concerning. Mm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll, I'll see leave you my again. payment here. Thank you for the food. You're welcome, good sir. Hey. hey. Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees at the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. You should go to the station square again sometime soon. My. Oh, good work. I think there are a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. There's credit today as we usually get on Yakaniku Day. I wonder if there was some event Thanks happening in advance. I made you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Thanks. <laughs> Asshole. Amazing to say, dealing with so many orders. I'm sure it was rough, but I think you handled it out <laughs> quite proficiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the greatest. I know. The greatest of all time. What? Whoa, what's up with the goggles? Going snowboarding or something? You hear the senior is moving later than usual. Climbing jeans and what have you. Yeah. How in the hell do you suck? I wouldn't go I couldn't go in the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would gush like rivers. Not so it's off. Seems pretty rough. That's right, the new set policies have been starting later than usual this year. In fact, the pollen problems have only just begun. People are about to have some itchy eyes. This might affect the momentum the same way weather does. Okay. Morning. Morning. Uh, uh. Allergies? Allergies? Oh, uh, maybe. I do feel kind of dazed, and everything feels weird, but, um, actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Uh, I hope not. Oh, uh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? I so guess. it has to be my imagination. <laughs> yeah. If you say so. Hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school is kind of different now? You know, there being no Kamashita. Yeah, nobody ever talked about it in the, in the open like this before. Uh, that's true, I guess. I wish someone would just thank us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamashita is actually being punished for his pr crimes. And that's victory enough for me. I agree. I wonder what's going to happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? I'm going to have to deal with people hating him forever. That eh, might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved. Yeah, he got a lot got off a bit light. I think. Personally. Boom boom boom. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site, but I've heard about it here at school too. Anyway, there's a guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I wanna help the victim, but that's impossible for me. I bet the Phantom Thieves can do something about it. I mean you've already you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? Piece of cake. You're amazing. The bully is a brown haired guy frequently seen standing out in front of the school entrance. From what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. I know you can handle this. No target. New target, rather. Yep. Uh, wait, what? I don't fuck. I don't want to go there. We're all here. We're gonna go to Mementos, right? No. 
What are you talking about? Don't we need to study for exams? Let's go! Eh, don't worry about that stuff. Let's just let's ignore the details and just go charging in head first. Um... That's easy for you to say, but we don't even have a target. Let's go. That's actually not a problem anymore. Some intel has come in from Mishima. All right. Oh, perfect timing. Let's just go in right now then. Uh... You'll really do anything to avoid studying, huh? What if I said no? Hmm. I should write something. Because I don't want to go to Mementos right now. <laughs> oh. Go to the clinic. Wait. I'm pretty sure I saw my death. Yeah, okay. Hey. Allergies are so annoying. How are your allergies? Uh, they're terrible, thank you. <laughs> Clinical trial. Um, let me grab this. Death. Conversation. Three, three. Okay. Find the medicine from the other day, but can you come to the back? Alright. Hang out with me. Please head to the exam room. I'm gonna start setting up then. Head to the exam room. Hmm. Here you go. The effect should be instant this time. Oh. Let's see. Eyes are focused. Look this way. One, two, three, four. Nothing yet, huh? Oh. Inside of my mouth feels like it's burning, and my nose is itchy. Oh. Oh, there it is. The inhibitory effect is just as I hope. Your weight was the primary reason it took longer to kick in than expected. Did it? Yes, this is what I expected from a teenager. Making great progress. Practice makes perfect, right? Okay, hold tight. Once I compile all the data, we can move on. Hello? Hello, talk to Kemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. How can I help you? An emergency, huh? But we're not a de designated hospital. Besides, the head physician here is tied to Kemi. Huh? Awfully rude. Just hanging up on a lady like that. Oh, is that a... Oh. Oh, he basically just called the wrong number. The ambulance driver was looking for a transfer location. All the designated hospitals are full. To think they'd accidentally call a general practitioner must have been a new par paramedic. He seemed to at least know my name, though. I've been blacklisted by the larger medical community. They call me the plague due to the grave medical error I made. Uh, what do you mean? <sighs> this goes back to my old job. I used to work at a university hospital in the city. I was never actually convicted of anything, but I'm still considered a pariah in the medical industry. Does that scare you? Participating in clinical trials run by a doctor like that? I don't really care, dude. You seriously are one strange kid. Well, that's fine. Being ostracized has, ostracized has enabled me to focus on my own research and development. <laughs> but regardless, I look forward to working with you. I'll be sure to add some additional medicine for you, my little guinea pig. Okay, don't make it weird. All right. Hello. Hello, Doctor Takami. Doctor Ta Takami's Clinic of Internal huh? Medicine. One order of teriyaki chicken. You're all good for today. You can go home now. Come again soon if you're still alive. Thanks. Take care. Okay. Take care. Okay. Hey, my little guinea pig, I have to talk to you about something. You haven't told anyone about my drugs, right? Well, of course not. Okay, I mean, part of the deal is that you're strictly prohibited from sharing anything that happened to you, so I guess I'll believe you, for now. Just like I've been getting a lot more patients asking for drugs lately. I wonder where they keep hearing about me. It's been really bugging me. Okay, but that's all I wanted to ask, I guess. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Ah, you're back. Yes, sir. Hey. Politician, should we station? You can't check the phone. Yo. Another box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. I'll just add this. I'll just add this. Oh, 
says, first off, whoa, fuck off, I'm not going to my fucking job, bitch. Blech. I don't want to say every time I have to put the word. I'm sorry. I'm just annoyed. I'm already bummed about tests coming out. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Oh, maybe we can keep making some progress and we'll keep an eye on each other. Wanna study together? Well, I guess, why not? Hang out. Where you help? Do the diner in Shibuya. Shibuya. What? Shibuya. What? Shibuya. Uh. 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 That long sentence is tough. Try to think about what the underlying section is. Are you starting to understand how to dissect these problems? I think so. So jealous you get a one on one study session with Lady Andre. Seems like you're making more progress than usual, too. Thank you, Zeko. I'm actually not so good at this because of my time abroad. Anyway, time to study. Here we go. Here we go. You can help me with math next. Let's get back. I'm so tired. Let's stop here. Ridic. It looks like you're attending school seriously. Obviously. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. We're in the same class, my lady, my guy, I my see. girl. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. I heard she was a victim me, of Mr. Guy? Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Exams start tomorrow. Are you all ready? Well, now then, picking up from last time. The end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the Heike, it's time when all that was great could, would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. Of yesterday to be struck down by rebels. By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the week is called the Magistrate's Patronage. That came term came from Minamoto no Yoshitsune's position. And it also became a way of referring to him as well. Alright, Amamaya Kun. Do you know the answer? You know the time period Yoshitsune was acted in, don't you? Weren't you just talking about it? The Heian period? Is it. Correct. That's right. He supported his brother, Yoritomo, during the Heian period. But despite his contributions in defeating the Tyra, he was driven out by his brother and ultimately executed. Over in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, oh, he's so secretly smart, I didn't know that! Wow! Wowie zowie! Rather than siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. Yep. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Uh, I guess, excuse me. Oh, wow. What are your thoughts? Confident in your exams, you could always look live the day up and head to the fuck off. I'll just add this. I'll just add this. I'll just add this. I'll just add this. Okay. Let's just make sure I got right. so much. Okay. Okay. Uh strengthening my heart. Hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart. It's kinda hard to do by myself. Will you train with me? Yes. I will, Lady On. Thanks. We'll be going to Inu Inoka Inokashira Park. It's really big. Well, let's meet up at Shibuya and head over again. Ka-ching! Okay, alright. Hang out. I don't care. Hey. 
man, big open places like this are great. I think my training's gonna go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. Um, oh shit, I forgot to go... Um... How's that? Um... I think I have a strong heart. It means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically I want you to say stuff to me. I'll try not to get phased by it. That's your training? <laughs> I've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. I guess I should say something, Don. Come on, hit me with your best shot. You're an airhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? That response was annoying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? Can we stop yet? You're giving up? And that means I win. Hmm? Wait, is this how that game was supposed to go? Oh well, on to round two. Yes. Bring it on. This won't help your heart. Mm. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. But that's what I said. You're right. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just got an email from my agents. Next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? So notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. And when asked why they didn't come, the models say, all say they heard there was a change in schedule. Sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. Has that happened to you? Huh? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. Probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Actually, my first modeling gig was at the sub. That was back when I was still in Finland! My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Well, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, but I only really see them for half the year. Maybe less these days. Ah, uh, the freedom sounds nice, I guess. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be completely relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough having being a fan of these with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just, it was just me and our live-in caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. <laughs> Whoa, that got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have. But I don't think I'd want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamashita first spotted me. That's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the fan of these are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute yes. there. That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from on. All right. All right. Oh yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se, but she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. <laughs> I hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. Bye! Well, see you later! Oh, it's so close to... Hey, it's me! Thanks for coming with me today! So after we meet up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home. It's like how a cool, sexy woman would walk, and then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runway walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? You think she thought I was cool? Could be. <laughs> it's almost enough to make me blush. Kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. Mm -hmm. I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome any obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye. Okay. Ah, you're back. I should write something. I should write something. Boom. Oops, I didn't mean to hit space again. Okay, okay, okay. Crossword time. Wait. <coughs> Easy. Wait. We spoke to specialists regarding the schedule surrounding Mr. Kamashita's violence and indecency. 
they have the opinion that there are problems with Japan's education system. That may be true. I was raised in Finland, but over there, they make sure that all students have the same knowledge level. The cost up to high school is pretty much free. In addition, all the teachers have a doctorate. If that's the case, does that mean you call those teachers professor instead? Yes, is that true about Finland? I've never been to Finland. What are the May Blues? Malay. El Malay. Dull pain. But that's A, C, H, and E. Plant disease, I don't know. Doom's partner. My guide only gives me the answer to this one here. Okay, so... Two, 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 Maybe... I don't know. In Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the change of seasons and number of people who fall ill after the long holiday at April's end. Similar terms are used across the world. Students in the USA get the September Blues after summer vacation, while the UK has the January Blues to contend. All right. Oh, wow, even I can fail. This is dumb. Okay. So next. Mr. Ryuji. Exams are coming up soon. You're not getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? We're gonna do it. You wanna do it together? I'm in serious trouble. I don't need to study, but this also ups my relationship points. So. <coughs> I must. Yeah. Huh. I starting to get the hang of this, so I guess that's what I gotta do to with this one, too. Wait, that's no good. Damn it. What did I mess up on? Try starting over. Good advice, Ren. It's important to revisit and review where things went wrong. There you go. Magical. Yeah. Oh, here. If I just fix this. Oh, problem solved. You're freaking amazing, dude. Thanks. I'm gonna grab a refill. So when that question's got me real pumped up. Wanna head back? I guess we should go home. I can't believe this. A school assembly during exam week? How are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's gonna be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh, I can't believe the school's messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's gonna have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. Mandatory schools during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Well, shall no, we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure? Uh, Yoshitsune, right? Ooh, we can do this. Uh -huh. Mm. I say question. Took stuff. Provide the reason why Minam Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. His brother was Yoritomo. Um, they ended up having to pose each other, and Yoritomo won. Been suicide after being exiled by his brother. Even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's why, because people tend to sympathize with us with figures of power and sympathize more with the weak. I don't any weak person. I'm gonna love Rudy for an underdog who stands up to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. We finished in time. Ahem. Put your pets down and hand this to your student. Okay.
Let's get started. Today's the second day of exams. Let me begin. Um, isn't this... Oh, this is a... Thing. Ooh, we can do this! The following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color. Both, right? Four color Ooh, theory or whatever. Ooh, we can do this! Sounds about right! Okay, class, let's get started. If you're out of tests, then you may begin. Name the book that defined Malfactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. The Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can do this! Character archetype refers to a serious and seductive woman to leave with ulterior moments. Motives. A femme fatale. Ooh, we can do this! A school-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? I think we can bring our flashcards in. How much she is just one of the many things wrong with this school? We gotta hurry home and study! How much she is still causing us trouble, even when he's gone? Ever since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital, so we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Whoa. Isn't he hot? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. My name is... Uh -huh. My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. Dork. No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. Yo, you ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Maruki. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? Do you really think he'll do us any good? Are you, G? Stop. Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Um, yeah, it was. I can definitely believe that. So, what do you want with us? Ah, uh, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Huh? <laughs> How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Uh, tell me more of these snacks. Hey, don't fall for that! To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? 
I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... Dot dot dot. Mental training. I make good use of this and may aid in our fan-up these activities too. There's also snacks. All right, all right, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? No harm. In a little chat. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I need to deal with Mark. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Give me a name! Joe. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Counselor Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. There you go. All right. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Yeah, okay. Okay, quiet down. Alright, settle down. I have an addendum to the earlier assembly regarding the counseling Gulbin offered. The counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maruki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not to see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. The school's decided that visits to Dr. Maruki will manda be mandatory for these individuals. Yo, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? Kinda sounds like we're being forced to. I told Marky I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really into the idea. You know? Let's do it. Yeah, probably better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think we're gonna try going today. <sighs> counseling, eh? Late oh. Lady Yon's right, make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Yes. Housekeeping! Oh. Um. Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? Yeah, is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. I hope. Uh, it's always a good time so long as I'm al not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, shall we begin? Shall we get started? Oh, but first, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. Oops. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> no, it's it's all right. I know you need to talk. I need you to talk about someone like someone to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. Absolutely am. Take all the time you need. Okay, just, uh... 
second here. I gotta. All right. Let's keep on going. I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes, that's why I want to get even with him, for she mm -hmm. And. Uh, at first, I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shio was going to put herself through, but excuse me, but later I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shio's suffering. In fact, it'd just give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the level, the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki. Huh? I think you got the wrong. Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. That feels like a red flag to say to somebody as a therapist. Like it sounds, I'm just saying. Not like I did anything special though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? Let me hmm. think. I'm just hoping Shio will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamashita. Yeah. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the path, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. It would definitely be better if none of this happened at all, but... Quite. I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? But it would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems like I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that this is all off my Be chest. Be careful, okay? <laughs> Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm well, gonna get do. going. See you around. Well, I went in for counseling. You're going, you're going soon too, right, friend? How'd it go? Hmm, well, it wasn't uh, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. You should just go and give it a shot. Doctor Maru, he's easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm. All right, fine. Hello, redhead. How are you? Ah, uh, hello. Are you here for a session as well? That's right. Is that so? Dr. Maruki's a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he ever came to Shujin. Uh -huh. No, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. All right then. Let's say we get started. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. I see. Thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation here in Amamaya Kun. Well, full disclosure, school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. <laughs> so much for my privacy. <laughs> I'm glad you got a sense of humor about it, but yes, not exactly kind to you. I'm sorry. So, now you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external. I should note, that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality, some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example. Like wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on. That kind of thing. Well, that idealized reality and the one in the actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. I've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? Um, but it sounds right. <laughs> Not even any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, I'm a Maya Kun. Whoops. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. Ugh. Say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. Not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So... 
I'll need more details. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on their end there. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And uh, I've got a lot of snacks, too. We can have them. They're yours. Well, okay. Really? Yes, you're a lifesaver. Well... Let's see. Uh, I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. I have to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up, a, cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you can draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. A bit. All right. I know. Oh, right. Would it be okay if we tried traded contact information? I'll contact you when I've got time, or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. Now, I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's, first off... All right. And the snack. Well, see you. I'll look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile struggling in, we should definitely get some sleep for now. Fine. Well then. Ah, <sighs> sleepy time. Sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. You staying up studying? Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Oh. You're failing for sure. Eh, it'll be fine. Nobody's expecting anything of me, so I don't gotta worry about grades. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. Oh, impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from the stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. What was that? <sighs> Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? Am I imagining things? What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> My goodness, I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. 
All is well that ends well. <laughs> Weirdo. I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. Model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? I don't know. Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. <laughs> I'm Motorame Rude. Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Motorame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Yusuke! I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? <laughs> Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets, too. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as okay. easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. Crap, look at the time! I'll see you later! How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? I'm just a bit of a badass in, uh, in Facebook. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Mm -hmm. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? Uh, dot, 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 dot. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. It's the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy. I might start you on. Perfectly, I can't wait to see you score. Yeah, I'm excellent. Finally done with exams. Hey, are you gonna go into counseling? So the volleyball, volleyball guys get called in. <laughs> Shit, I got that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. Mm, it's over. 
It's over. How about you? I'm feeling confident. Oops. You traitor! Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less, too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi, then. Or domestic-raised eel. We don't have that much left. I mean, I do. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Madarani's <clears throat> yeah, exhibit. Do. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Oh, Lord. It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Uh, I, it, I'm curious too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. Uh... Don't be boring. It'd be worth it once in a while. It sounds like it'll be useful for phantom thieves, too, you know? It's decided, then. We're going. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Why don't we go to that exhibit with Lady Ah? I'm curious to know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. Can't afford to be late tomorrow. Better not go out right now. So I keep thinking about what Nakonora said. I did not pronounce that right. Given talking about the famous sergeant. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. We get it. I'll just add this. Okay. Hello? Okay. It's goodbye time. Bye-bye.